Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Ellie Talks Money, and we have a visitor for our video today. I decided, you know what? He doesn't really nap at all during the daytime, and it's, you know, I was just getting a little frustrated, like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna get my content done? But I said, you know what? I'm a new mom. I'm gonna start just having the baby with me because it's no need to pretend like I don't literally have a newborn and he's a very chill baby. So I said, well, you know, you can just do my YouTube video with me today, okay? And it's so perfect because what we're gonna be talking about in today's YouTube video are passive income streams that are mom friendly because y'all know I'm a mom. This is my fifth baby, which I'm so grateful. I love you so much. And some of you all may be moms or parents or dads, um, or you might be thinking about having kids. You might even just be rich aunties, okay? Or rich uncles. Either way, I wanna share with you some some of my favorite passive income streams that I still use, ones that I did use and let go of, and a few that I'm thinking about actually implementing this year. So grab a notebook, grab a pen, and let's get into these gems. Ellie talks money to create the better days, business, money, life, the Ellie way. All right, now the first three passive income streams that I'm gonna share with you that are very mom friendly and very much just set it and forget it. And that is getting a high yield savings account, investing in index funds and investing in dividends. Now I'm putting all three of these in like a passive income money category because with passive income, you should always have multiple streams, but I always get a lot of questions and see a lot of comments where people are hesitating on investing because they feel like it's too slow. It's not money that you're gonna get right now. And I can say, I used to think the same way, right? Before I started my business, I knew nothing about investing. I was not an investor, but once I started to make money in my business and I hired a financial financial planner, I realized that leaving your money in a bank account is quite literally the worst thing to do for your money. And so while it may seem like investing is a long term, you know, slow burn passive income strategy, that's what makes it so powerful is that you put your money in this investment account or in this high yield savings account, or you use it to purchase dividends. And the same way you would be letting your money sit in a savings account somewhere, now it's making so much more. So on an investment account that you purchase index funds and I'll do a part two where we talk about investing in more detail but index funds are some of my favorite long-term investments because they're very uh, stable and they typically produce eight to ten percent consistently every year so if you're investing in that your money is growing eight to ten percent for you without you thinking about it versus when it's sitting in a bank account it's not even earning you a half of a percent okay banks do not help you grow your money at all similar to a high yield savings account. If you have your money in a savings account right now, I highly recommend you move it to a high yield account that can give you 4% or 5% uh, APY, which allows you to get monthly dividends or quarterly dividends on that money in your account versus it just sitting there, you know, doing nothing, okay? Now there's one account I wanna recommend for you where you can do both. You can open an index fund account and a high yield savings account, and that is M1 Finance. So I invest um, in the stock market with M1, and I also have a high yield savings account with M1. So that's two ways you can make money. Additionally you can purchase dividends. Now there's some great companies that give dividends. One of them is AT&T. Another is Tesla. There are so many. And again, when I do my investing video, I'll break these down, but dividends typically pay quarterly. Now, again, this is not going to be money at the beginning that you are going to move into a mansion with. But the special thing about dividends is when you get your dividends, you're going to do what is called drip. And that's where your dividends are reinvested in your portfolio. So that's D-R-I-P, DRIP. And that's gonna start helping you see more money coming more consistently to where your dividends are paying you $1,000 a month, $2,000, $4,000, and more. So those are you know, the, the first part of passive income, what I would like to call the money category. This video is sponsored by Mommy to Millionaire and their mission is to help one million moms generate a seven figure net worth, secure a trust fund and grow their wealth through entrepreneurship, investing and real estate. So I want you guys to click the link down in the description to take their free masterclass all about learning how to hire your kids into your business, start businesses for your kids, 
grow your business online and generate more money actively as well as passive income. Mommy to Millionaire has already helped over 3,000 moms and dads take the path towards generating more wealth as well as securing their trust fund. And so they are so excited for you to be next. Click down below for the free class with Mommy to Millionaire. All right, he started fussing a little bit, but let's continue. So for the next category of passive income streams, this is what I would call digital products and online money. So number one, digital products, which is not just eBooks, okay? This can be workbooks, templates, audio courses, audio books, virtual sessions. There are so many ways to make money passively online with digital products. And one of the main ways to do this is by leveraging your own business. So if you you are an esthetician, you're a realtor, you're a coach or a consultant implementing digital products into your business. But if you're none of those things and you want to make money online, creating faceless accounts is a fantastic way to do this. Now I have several faceless accounts online, one that has 5,000 followers, one that has 70,000 followers, one that's about 12,000 followers. And each of these make money between a hundred to a thousand dollars every day. Now this is something that you can do as well. And it's very consistent. Think about it. People are on social media right now all the time. And by using certain tools and systems like mini chat, for example, which is an auto responder. So when people leave a comment, it's going to respond to them with your product. When they send a DM, it's going to respond to them with your product. So this is a passive income stream that you can scale quite easily without necessarily needing to hire a full team because of the fact that you can use AI and mini chat in order to get it done. Now, the next Next passive income stream that I love, which is something you can do now, is to start renting out your car. Now, I have broken this strategy down for you guys before on live, so make sure you turn on your post notifications if you haven't seen my lives before so that you can be in the next one. But in a nutshell, you are going to leverage business funding to purchase either used vehicles or new vehicles in your business name and rent them out on sites like Turo, Hire Car, or by working with a private broker. Now, the reason this works is because the transportation industry is always going to be a needed niche. People need cars. Some people don't have cars on their own. And when people are traveling, they typically need to rent a car for vacation. Now, the reason why this works is because using Turo and Hire Car, you're able to appeal to the economy market. Renting out a car that you bought for, let's say, $10,000 or $15,000, you're going to start renting this out for $50 to $75 a day which is still a great price getting to the economy customer. And that 50 or $75 a day is gonna make you anywhere from 1,500 to $2,000 a month. So that 10,000 or 15,000 that you spent to buy the car, by the end of the year, you have already made between 20 and $40,000 passively from getting that car. Okay. Now on this same line is Airbnb. So we'll, I'll make sure that we dive into Airbnb in a separate video because while Airbnb is passive, you do have to do some work to get it to that point. Okay. It doesn't just start off being passive. You've got to, you know, create the apartment, you've got to market, you've got to get really strategic. But once you get that done, it definitely is a great passive income stream and Airbnb and the car rental industry work well together because if you have a customer, Customer who is renting out your Airbnb, you can also propose them your cars and vice versa. Okay, so this is a great one that you can do. And you know, if you really think about it, once you start making money with one car, at the end of that year, once you look at how much you've brought in passively, it's a great opportunity to reinvest and add a second economy car, a third, and you can see how it starts to multiply. So I rent out uh, my cars in Los Angeles. I have a G-Wagon, I have an Escalade, and I also have a used Audi, which is a beautiful car, okay? I love that car. It was my first car uh, post-divorce when I went to move back to my mom's house. And so those are each being rented out now, and that's why I'm explaining this is a passive income stream where the more assets you acquire, the more cars, the more money you will start to make. So I want you to comment below, which of these three do you like the best? Do you want more information on? So that was again, money passive income streams with investing, dividends, and high yield savings accounts, digital products that you can incorporate into your business or that you can start with a faceless brand. And then thirdly, renting out cars on Turo and Hire Car to make passive income. Now, as I mentioned, 
make sure you turn on your post notifications so you can catch my live for the next video where I'll break down these in more detail. And make sure that you click on the link down below to come to my five day financial freedom summit where we are going to be implementing these strategies live. So if you don't have a Facebook account now, by the time you finish the summit, you will. If you don't have a digital product now, by the time you leave the summit, you will. If you don't know where to get funding to start renting out a car in your business name, by the time we leave the summit, you will, okay? We're gonna spend six days together implementing these strategies so that you can get some results, all right? So turn on your notifications, click down below and join the summit, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.